It's happening, you guys. Angle passes are coming back for sale at Walt Disney World. <laughs> this is the announcement, oh my goodness, that I have been waiting for for so long since the park shut down and they stopped selling new annual passes. So this is such exciting news for so many people. I know so many people who I've heard stories have moved to Orlando and have been wanting to purchase a brand new annual pass or people like myself who happened to their annual pass that they had expired and they were not in the window of when Disney was letting people renew all because of the shutdown, you know, all that. We're not gonna go into that because right now we have all this excitement to talk about that annual passes are now back and they are going on sale. I am ecstatic. I am so, so excited. Can you see my shirt right there? I had to pick out one when I was picking out my Disney shirt that had annual pass holder on it because of course, like, that is just, ah, annual passes are coming back. I'm so happy. Okay, so now let's jump into the video. Hi everyone, my name is Meg. If it is your first time here, this is Magical Meg. I vlog Disney content. I enjoy filming Disney news videos like this, sharing my Disney tips. So be sure to subscribe if it is your first time here. Okay, so jumping right into it. Like I mentioned, when the parks shut down um, last year in 2020, they suspended annual pass holder sales. And when the parks reopened in July of 2020 last year, annual passes did not come back. And anyone who wanted to go to Walt Disney World up until right now, when we just found out that um, starting September 8th, I will get into all those details, but starting September 8th, you'll be able to purchase a new annual pass. If you wanted to go anytime the past year basically <laughs> um you had to actually pay per each trip the only people who had annual passes this whole past year were people who were grandfathered in that they already had an annual pass at the time of the shutdown i happen to fall into a category that my annual pass lapsed in november and i didn't have a trip booked just yet that's i've been an annual pass holder my family and i we have been annual pass holders for the past 10 years. It was like that 2011, 2012 timeframe that we became annual pass holders. And we always though would, if like, let's say our passes lapsed in, let's just say January, and we didn't have a trip book till March, we would sometimes, you know, let the pass expire and then buy the pass in March once we got there at the gate so that then that way the pass would be good from March to March of the next year. You'd have it for a whole year. And that was kind of the situation that happened to us in 2020. Our passes lapsed in November and we didn't yet have, we had, I think our trip was booked for May and we weren't sure if we'd be able to get there before then. So we're like, okay, we're not gonna renew it in November if we may not get here until, you know, early spring of 2020. Well, that 2020 trip, as we all know, never happened due to the parks being shut down. We don't gotta relive that whole story. Yeah, so it ended up being that I have not had an annual pass. And when we did during this past time since the parks reopened, we went in October, 2020, and we just went in the vlogs I'm posting actually right now on my channel is from my trip in May of this year, May, 2021. All those trips, uh, both those trips, I've had to, myself and my parents, we've had to buy individual tickets per each of those trips. And um, we haven't had the annual pass holder perks and everything. So I am ecstatic. And this just means I've been like anticipating this to happen because Disney did tease when they announced the Disneyland um, magic key coming back. They teased that they were gonna start selling new Walt Disney World annual passes. So I've been waiting for this. They said that it would happen by the 50th anniversary. I was just hoping that it wasn't gonna happen on the 50th anniversary. I was picturing all of us, if you don't know, I am gonna be in Walt Disney World for the 50th anniversary. I have one of those coveted Magic Kingdom park pass reservations and I was picturing all of us like on Main Street USA, but like rushing over to guest relations to upgrade our tickets. So I'm very excited that they are putting them on sale like soon here, like right now, September 8th, so that we can get all that situated and be able to enjoy the 50th. I'm so excited. So yeah, anyone like me or someone who's now just, you know, interested in purchasing a new annual pass, we can now purchase new annual passes. That is what we found out today um, when I'm filming this video. Today is August 30th that this news dropped. I'm so happy. 
Okay, so now that I've shared that whole story time, let's jump into the actual um, information of what we found out today because we do have some updates, some annual pass holder updates that we found out. The annual passes are now going to have a tiered system, kind of like what we saw out in Disneyland with the magic key. Um, if you're familiar with that news that broke that they're offering different levels and options, which that's always how it's been at Walt Disney World. There's always been different annual pass levels not so much for out-of-state residents and it's still like that but if you were a florida resident there was different options for you if you wanted to have some that had blackout dates um things like that and that is exactly what we're seeing right now but they've just kind of restructured it a little bit and um have it in a way that it accommodates the current park pass reservation system how you have to um in order to visit a disney park on a certain day you have to go in and reserve a park pass reservation they're doing that right now just with capacity we're not sure how long that system is going to stick around but um this new annual pass structure kind of is accommodating for that so we know it's going to stick around for a good bit here still so that's what i'm going to go over right now is what are those four um new pass tiers that we are looking at for walt disney world also there's some kind of add-ons that we're now seeing which that had never really been a thing before such as photo pass add-ons um that's no longer included you can add that on so i'm also going to share all of that information as well in this video lots and lots to talk about lots and lots okay so let me grab my phone here all right so these are are the new annual passes also if you are a current i wanted to mention this if you are a current walt disney world annual pass holder your everything stays the same for you as of right now and then it's not until once your pass is up for renewal that you will be able to go ahead and pick which one of these tiers that you want when you are renewing but for right now if you have an annual pass until your annual pass expires, everything is remaining the same. Once it's time for your renewal is when you will go ahead and pick one of these new options that we have here. Okay, so like I said, there is four new tiers that we are seeing. So the lowest tier being the Disney Pixie Dust Pass. Then we have the Disney Pirate Pass, Disney Sorcerer Pass, and Disney Increda Pass. Something to note, the first three passes that I mentioned, the Disney Pixie Dust Pass, the Disney Pirate Pass, and the Disney Sorcerer Pass, those are all Florida resident exclusive passes. If you are from out of state, you're looking at the Disney Increda Pass. The Disney Increda Pass though, that is the coveted one. That is the one that has no blockout dates. That's the one that ideally everybody wants. I know that's the one that I'm gonna be purchasing. Even if I was a Florida resident, I would be getting the Disney Increda Pass, which I soon will be a Florida resident and that's gonna be what I continue to get. But if you are a Florida resident and you are okay with having some blockout dates and it's a great way to save some money, these other tiers that they are offering are really awesome. So the first one that we have here is the Disney Pixie Dust Pass for Florida residents. And this one is $399 plus tax. Then we have the Disney Pirate Pass, also one of those Florida resident exclusives. That's the next one up. That is $699 plus tax. And then we have that Disney Sorcerer Pass, once again, another one of these Florida resident exclusive ones that is $899 plus tax. Then we have the Disney Increda Pass, which is for anybody, Florida residents as well as out of state, out of country, people can have this pass as well. And this one is um, $1,299 plus tax. If you go on Disney's website, if you see what I'm showing you right now, they have an option to be able to compare passes. And that's a great way to be able to see, especially if you're going between one of those like Florida resident ones, see what all the benefits are and what might suit you best. The biggest difference in the perks of what each one of the tiers will get you is the block dates. The lower price one will have the most block dates. The higher up you go um, in price, the less and less block dates you get. That's just kind of the rule of thumb with that. Also, during this time, you know, we have the current system of the Disney Park Pass reservation system. Even though you're not blocked out for the day, like you I essentially should be able to get into to a Disney park, you have to go ahead and reserve a Disney park pass. That is your um, kind of ticket. If those are free to reserve, but this is just how Disney is doing this during this time. You have to have that park pass reservation in order to reserve your spot for a particular park on a certain day. Currently, how annual pass holders that have been annual pass holders right now at Walt Disney World have been having to do this is you have only been able to get, I believe it's three um, park pass reservations at any one given time. So let's say there was like a special event like 
Christmas Day or New Year's Day, New Year's Eve that you really want and you want to grab that in advance or like right now when everybody wants that park pass reservation for the 50th anniversary at Magic Kingdom, everybody wants that one. You would then have that out there. Like one of your three um, reservation slots is always saved for that. So then when you're making other reservations, you only have like two to play around with. It kind of gives you not as much flexibility, but you can always, you know, use a pass and then like right after you go into the park that day, like get a pass for another day that week. It is just nice to be able to have the ability to book more than three park pass reservations at any one given time, especially for people that are gonna be coming out of state and coming for more of an extended trip and want to be able to have guaranteed days that they're gonna be able to hit up their favorite parks. We really wanted to see that Disney was going to allow annual pass holders to hold more um, park pass reservations at any one given time. So that's the other big difference with the the levels. The big thing here is that if you are in that lower tier, I believe, let me see here, you get up to three days that you can hold. That's with the pixie dust tier. The pirate pass tier will get you four days that you can hold. You keep moving up. The sorcerer tier will get you five days that you can hold. And then also it's the same for the Disney Incredit Pass. You have five days, that's the max that you can hold for the park pass reservation. So, you know, just something that we have to do during this time. Okay, so now that we've gone over the different tier levels of the annual passes, now let's talk about the add-ons that we are seeing with annual passes. This is something that is new. Uh, before, you always just had your different levels that you were picking from. Now there's actually add-ons that can be added onto any one of these annual passes. The first one is going to be the water park add-on. Now this is something that a lot of people are thinking that, you know, oh my gosh, this is new. It's just Disney's way of kind of phrasing this, making it be an add-on to any of the passes. In the past, it has always been that even like the top tier annual pass, the annual pass that I always used to get, the Disney Platinum Pass, there was always the Disney Platinum Pass, which did not include water parks. You then had the Disney Platinum Plus Pass, which included the water parks in it as well. So it's always been more money, but it just used to be that it would be, a, it was a different pass tier, that it was that Platinum Plus Pass that had it. Now you're just doing like a add-on. It's just how they're phrasing this. So that add-on is $99 and it is for the year, for the duration of your annual pass, that whole year that you are buying the pass for, you have the access to the water parks for that $99. So I think that that is a good deal. Additionally, this is the thing a lot of people were hoping that we would get included with annual passes because um, it was included before and that is the perk of your Disney photo pass downloads. With the annual passes before, as for being an annual pass holder, you got Disney photo pass downloads included with the annual pass. Now it is one of these add-ons that we are seeing that it is also $99, but it is for the the whole year. So while yes, we would love of course to have more perks and have it be free, of course who wouldn't want it to be free, I do think that this is something that I know I'm going to take advantage of this add-on because I love the Disney Photo Pass service and like to have my ride photos and like taking pictures with the Photo Pass photographers. They always do such incredible work. So I will be adding this on myself. And the thing to remember too, is that they are giving you a discount with this. If you were just going to Disney as a regular guest and staying for a week, I believe um, PhotoPass is running around like $150, somewhere around there. And that's only for the duration of that one week trip or however long you have those park tickets for, however long your trip is. But for this $99, the discounted price is for the 365 date, like the duration of your annual pass. It's for the whole year that you have your annual pass. So I will be taking advantage of this. And the other thing to know too, if you're looking at saving money, you could just have one member of your party who you know is always going to be traveling with you, always going to be in the Disney photo pass pictures that you're taking, just have them add it on, you know, something like that. All right, so now let's talk about the perks that are still included. Those were the add-ons, but like we had before, we are still going to, Disney's told us it's going to continue that we're going to have discounts on dining, on merchandise in the parks and the resorts. So we're going to have all those things free parking that is the huge thing when my family when we were there in both October and in May 
this past year and we did not have annual passes we did not like having to pay for parking that in and of itself is one of those areas where annual pass can be of such value to not have to pay for parking because that will add up very very quickly i believe it's like 30 dollars a day to 35 dollars a day just to park at walt disney world so right there another reason why annual pass can provide you with so many great benefits and perks see i'm reading right here what all the different discounts are we know that it's up to 20 percent off select dining up to 20 percent off select merchandise and you can save they offer different discounts and amounts off of special events um, tours spa treatments rounds of golf the after hours events different things like that that happen throughout property they'll offer annual pass holder discounts for additionally they also run different annual pass holder specials on discounts on hotel rooms at walt disney world so there's always things like that that you get to take advantage of as an annual pass holder all right so the next thing i wanted to talk about is upgrading your current tickets i know there's a lot of people out there i am one of them that i've been waiting for this news to drop and i have gone ahead and you know have have, I have other plans for travel. Specifically, I've bought my theme park tickets for the trip that I'm going on next month when I'm going to be in Walt Disney World for the 50th anniversary. And Disney has told us that you will be able to, like the way the system has always been before, um, you will be able to go ahead and upgrade the current tickets that you have and roll it into an annual pass. And Disney will take the amount that you've paid for your tickets, for eligible tickets, and apply that towards your annual pass so that is a huge huge thing i'm very excited about that so my trip that i have coming up i will be able to take the amount that i've spent on those tickets and put that towards my annual pass holder purchase very very nice okay so kind of the last thing that i wanted to talk about is if you are on the fence of thinking should i get an annual pass should i not let me just tell you from my experience like i said myself and my family my parents we have been annual pass holders for close to 10 years here a little over 10 years i think and it is something that we love so much we love the freedom and flexibility that it gives us that if we see good airfare we know we got tickets we can just like go down even if it's just for a long weekend or something it allows you to have so many additional trips throughout the year we love the perks that you get with it and in our experience we have crunched the numbers and you can go ahead and crunch the numbers for yourself but we find that after two week-long trips it will um, pay for itself and you will break even and then any trips after that you are actually um, benefiting from like you are definitely saving money so it's actually a great savings instead of having to every single time that you go you're buying you know ticket after ticket after ticket and then you get while you're in Walt Disney World all of the discounts on dining on, on your merchandise and shopping and you know we love all that so yes, I believe that if you are going at least two times in a year, it absolutely is worth it to get an annual pass. All right guys, so that is going to do it. This is a very, very exciting video. As you can tell, I'm just on cloud nine. This is what I have been waiting for and I will be on the phone September 8th making my upgrade happen. I cannot wait. I'm like counting down the days. It's like a week away. It's coming very, very quick. It'll be perfect right in time for the 50th. I have that trip coming up. I'm going to be planning to make that trip announcement here very soon. I have a lot of different things I'm doing during that trip as well. Some different dining reservations and things. So that will be fun to talk all about in that kind of trip planning, trip announcement video. So for now, please go ahead, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know, are you going to be getting an annual pass? Is this been a very exciting day for you as well. Let me know. I would love to chat with you in the comments below. Please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. All of those things, your likes, your comments, your subscriptions, it really does go such a far way in helping to support me and support the channel. So thank you so much for taking the time to do all that. And with that, make today magical and I will see you soon in my next video and in the parks because I'm going to be an annual pass holder again. <laughs> Bye guys.